Good morning and welcome to Fresh, the show all about food, entertaining, design, and wellness. We're going to hit on all those topics today, but we're going to go ahead and get started because we have a very special feature here today. We're here with Bill and Dustin Mattern of Mattern's Meat here at the American Countryside Farmer's Market. Now, Dustin, I'm going to pick on you just for a second. We were here about a year ago. We yes. did a tailgating segment. It was it happened to be the Purdue Notre Dame weekend. You went to Purdue. I'm a Notre Dame fan. In case the viewers weren't watching this year, who won? I didn't watch, so... You didn't watch? Are you kidding me? No, I listened to it. Uh, Notre Dame did win. They did win. All right, just wanted to check to see, just to check back in. You Purdue won last year, so... Yeah, they have to win at least one time out of a few years, so... <laughs> We'll give them that. Well, today we won't talk about football too much, but we are here. We're going to talk about turkey and what you guys have to offer. Bill, what do we have in front of us? Obviously a turkey. What are we going to do with it? Fresh turkey. We're just going to show you a quick, easy way that I like to cook them. Uh, good comfort food. We like to cook our food where it's nice and done, falls apart. Some people like to cook them to where they can carve it. We'll show you how we do it. Our main interest here today is just to show you the good products that we do have and what we have to offer for the holidays. Lots of good stuff all year round, but especially now with the holidays coming up, lots of turkey yep. going to be going on. This is just real quick and simple. We salt and pepper the, the cavity here. We've already washed the bird, taken out the neck and the giblets. Don't forget to do that. And we don't stuff our bird. We like to do our stuffing in a pan where it gets cooked a little right. dunner. But we do stuff it with some veggies. I've got already cut up some onions and uh, celery. We'll season those up a little bit. Stuff the cavity. Like I say, we don't do that to eat. It's just for the flavoring. Keep it nice and moist and give it some extra flavor. So I'm going to go ahead and just start doing my thing here. Like I say, it's just real simple. Salt, pepper the cavity. Season the veggies a little bit. Stuff it. Then we rub either a salad oil on it or a olive oil. I picked an olive oil that has a little bit of garlic in it because that's what we like. And uh, you basically rub that on the whole turkey and that just helps brown it up a little better. All right, well, we'll let you get started with that. And I'm going to bug Dustin over here a little bit more about the products that you guys have. Have tons of things. You said over 100 spices and rubs at Mattern's Meat Market. Tell us what else you guys have. Yeah, that we do have the spices and the rubs, uh, different selections of those, and we've got a little bit of those here in the counter here in the front uh, today. Another really good line of products that we uh, just now started offering is um, the Two Cooking Sisters product from Brookston, Indiana. And they've got about 10 to 12 different jellies and jams. Uh, they're all homemade. They're all natural preserves. Um, you can go back in the kitchen and watch them cooking up a batch of stuff uh, when you're down there picking up the product. But uh, our most popular one right now um, is this I Love You Jam, and it has dark chocolate and raspberry in it, and we can't stock enough of it. We go through about 12 jars every weekend, so it's a constant run to Brookston. Um, to get more product. Uh, a lot of other um, different varieties, relishes. Um, there's a sweet relish, an onion relish, and a corn relish, which I have never seen before until we picked up the line of product. But people are familiar with it, and it is very good stuff. Um, one thing that I'd like to feature uh, right now is this pumpkin butter. It's a seasonal spread on your bread and toast and yeah. other types of things. So that one's going pretty good now too. Um, a couple other items down here on the end of the counter are uh, we feature pasta sauces which is gourmet pasta sauces from Chicago from a couple of guys and they are true Chicago guys uh, and so <laughs> they, they make a great pasta a great pasta sauce and then we are featuring different um, types of pasta um, lasagna spaghetti noodles ricotta um, or rigatoni I'm sorry and linguine down there and they are from Italy as well so a brand new line of products that we've been offering that I just wanted pe to bring aware bring it bring people aware of it and um, so they know what else they can get here at the market lots of good stuff these are amazing I love that they're local they're still here. They're kind of helping be green a little bit, and it is, yeah. you know, helping out local people. Modestly priced here. That raspberry dark chocolate, I'm going to have to try myself because that should actually be illegal for me. But all these things, and then the bone-sucking sauces are not local, but very unique. One thing that's very unique about the bone-sucking sauces that a lot of people don't know, um, they are gluten-free. Uh, a lot of people's diets today are calling for gluten, gluten-free products. And that's what's nice about it. You can't tell that there's sugar not there. You know, there, it's, it's a great product and it tastes really, really good. But when people taste it, they can't believe that 
there's not as much sugar in it. So that's the that's the main important thing with our bone sucking sauce. And it's good. I have tried that. We've cooked with it, and it's fabulous. Now, Bill, we're ready to stick this? This is basically ready. Uh, the only other thing you want to do is I like to add um, you can just any kind of broth. You can cook off a chicken and make your own broth or just buy a can of chicken stock and fill that, uh, oh, about an inch or so in the bottom. And that'll really make great gravy then. Mm, so delicious. Basically ready to go in the oven like this. All right, well, let's get the finished one out and show, or put this one in and then get the finished one out. Oh my goodness. I will just um, not brag on myself a little bit. I cooked my first turkey last year and it was awful. It tasted fine, but the process was terrible. You guys are making it look really easy here. I didn't, I bought it too uh, late. Still frozen. Mm, mm, mm. A lot better than mine last year. Yes, here's the cooked bird and uh, Dad can talk a little bit about it now. Um, so you see we got great drippings here. Mm -hmm. It's going to make some great gravy. And like I said, we cook them till they're done done. Yes and fall apart. Now the breast you should still be able to carve pretty nice and we'll see if we can get a, a nice piece off of here. Get a shot of this. Very, very tender. I haven't, don't think my family has ever done it quite this tender, but I think I'm going to try to convince them to do so this year. This looks fabulous. I think hopefully it should be very juicy. <laughs> I think so. Oh my goodness. Look at that. It's perfection. Looks like you've been doing this for a while. Yeah, we've cooked a few birds, <laughs> but there you go. And carving is not what we normally do, so my my turkey's not going to carve real pretty, but I guarantee you it's going to taste. It'll taste pretty. Pretty. <laughs> <laughs> well, Bill, thank you so much, Dustin. Thank you for being here, and let me pick on you a little bit about the Purdue Notre Dame game, yeah. a little bit. So, anyways, Dustin, real quick, tell the viewers where you guys are located at the market. Sure. We're over here at the Farmer's Market in Elkhart, just south of the bypass, off of 19, County Road 26. Uh, we're here from 8 to 4, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And we're starting to take orders for Mattern smoked turkeys and then also our all-natural um, turkeys as well. So, come on in. Uh, give us a try. Uh, see if your holiday bird will be any better this year with one of Mattern's birds. So I have a feeling it probably would be. I think so, too. <laughs> well, thank you guys again, and we'll uh, have to dig in here All and right, uh, help good. you finish this off. We'll be back after a short break, so stay tuned.